All I gotta say is, is Kenobi. Kenobi! Hello, and welcome back to my channel. This is one of the most mind-blowing things that I didn't think I would ever do, and I did it. As you saw from probably the thumbnail and the title, I have a lightsaber but this lightsaber is a special one. It is currently out of view, so you cannot see because I don't want you to see it just yet. This is probably one of the best lightsaber hilt designs that Star Wars has ever made, and they've made a ton. Whether that be Galen Merrick's um, original lightsaber with the kyber crystal, but I think this lightsaber may be a top contender for the best designed lightsaber, especially with who owned it. I think it's time for you to see. It's this lightsaber. This lightsaber is from KR Sabers. This lightsaber I bought as an empty hilt. There is unfortunately no electronics, so if I press these buttons on the side, nothing is gonna turn on. Um, no electronics here, no electronics here. This hilt is amazing. This looks like I could honestly beat someone with it, with this part of the hilt. If you didn't already know, this is Darth Maul's um, lightsaber that he used um, after the events of Order 66 and before the events of Rebels where he meets Ezra Bridger. This lightsaber from what is known um, looks to be an Inquisitor lightsaber that was broken and Maul repurposed it um, to make this his own lightsaber. This lightsaber is a double-bladed red lightsaber. It looks incredible. Putting this lightsaber together was a pain. Um, I'm gonna overlay the video right now and just talk about it real quick. Um, this took me over 30 minutes. I wanna say it's more accurate to say it's around a 45 minute build mainly because I didn't know what I was doing. I went into building it blind so I wasn't too sure on what I was doing but I just tried my best to put it together um, and yeah this was the end result um, was this magnificent and beautiful lightsaber hilt. This lightsaber I only bought because there is something coming up. This video that I'm gonna post at the end of April all I can say is that I'm gonna vlog it. I'm gonna vlog the experience and you will see why I have this lightsaber. I don't know, this lightsaber is incredible. Um, just not much to say about it. I mean, it's an empty hilt, so I can't really go over like the electronics and how it sounds because there is no sound. I mean, it's an empty hilt. For me, it's gonna be on display. I don't know if I'm gonna get this installed. The saber stand did not come with it. I actually bought that separately um, from Crimson Dawn. This is one of their like premium saber stands, which I used for my other sabers off camera. This is the coin that came with the lightsaber uh, on the front. I'll put an image on it so you can see it better, like right here. Um, it says KR Sabers on this side. And then on this side, it says the Saber Armory, which is where I bought this lightsaber from KR Sabers. However, I do gotta say, this lightsaber is not made by KR Sabers. It was made by someone else named Dennis, and I'm not gonna say his last name because I have no clue how to say it, really. I could try, and I could be right, but I will most likely be wrong in saying his last name, so I don't wanna mispronounce it. So let's just call him Dennis. But Dennis created this lightsaber uh, all from scratch and it's incredible. Um, I don't know how he does it. I don't know what else to say about this lightsaber. I mean, except to say that it's incredible. Um, I will have some photos maybe put up like right now here, uh, showing more close up where I put a base lit core on the inside of the lightsaber to show what it would look like if it had electronics on the inside. I'm just really, I don't want to put stuff inside of it because I know if I put electronics in it, I'm going to spin this and I'm going to drop it and then it's going to break and then I'm going to cry because I just ruined this lightsaber. I just don't want to do that. And so I'd rather keep this as a shelf piece where I can just display it and I can brag about it. 
just look at the thickness of the blade like this is like some real metal like you can't just come here and just start bending the metal and then you're gonna look at it and see that it's bent it's thick and uh, it's i want to say very heavy at least when it comes to these parts i mean the middle of the hilt isn't too heavy um which is nice um i think the heaviest part on the blade is probably this big huge chunk of metal here i just felt that i should make a video on it um kind of showcasing it and talking about it and kind of my experience with it um i will leave a link down below to this lightsaber of where i got it yeah um that's gonna be all for this video there's not much to talk about all i can say is that something huge is gonna come by the end of april and it involves this lightsaber and i'm gonna vlog it which will be my first vlog so that's gonna be very interesting um because i don't vlog i'm not a vlogger but i gotta learn because i have to document this experience but i've babbled long enough Longer probably than I have talking about this lightsaber. So I need to end the video. Um, that is going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching the video. Um, please like the video um, if you really enjoyed me talking about this lightsaber. Because that's pretty much what it was. Um, I honestly thought I'd have more to say about this lightsaber. But filming it I now realize there's not much to say about it. Especially since it's an empty hilt. I can't. I take that back. I can say that you can get it installed and you can get a chassis and you can get electronics put inside this lightsaber. It's just a lot of money that I do not have. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, I want to try to hit 100 subs. My goal is to hit 100 subscribers by the end of April. Uh, I think I can honestly do it. I think I really can do it. Uh, hitting 100 subs by April would be incredible. Hit the bell notification, especially after this video because you need to stay to the end of April to watch that video because it's amazing. And comment down below, what are your thoughts on this lightsaber? What are your thoughts of how Darth Maul got it? Do you have any theories of how he got it besides did he kill an Inquisitor? Did he just stumble upon an Inquisitor and take their lightsaber and repurposed it? Again, that is gonna be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to stay tuned by the end of this month to see the biggest thing that's probably ever happened in my life. Um, that is all. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Peace.